My name is Lisa, and my surgeon gave me a cobra neck. It has been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. I grew up outside of Somerville, Texas. We called it the Sticks. It was a lot of fun growing up, you know, way out in the country. I rode horses probably just almost every day. I mean, it was my passion. My first husband I met actually when I was 14, and we didn't do anything. Didn't go anywhere. It was a really lonely relationship. Kind of like just existing, you know, for a long time. I don't even think he ever even told me I was pretty. <laughs> Coming out of my first marriage, I was really excited to start my life because I felt like I didn't really have a life. Paul and I met each other when I was 37, and he was 22. I worried about the age difference more than he did. The next thing we knew, eight years had already passed by, and we were still together, and we got married. I, I couldn't ask for a better husband, partner, friend. Paul being so much younger than me, I knew that I wouldn't be able to carry a child for him, and I knew he would be a wonderful dad. So we started searching out to find a surrogate to carry a child for us. We had Madison in 2008, and then in 2012, the same surrogate had Marshall for us. After having Marshall, I did have more people start asking me if I was the kid's grandmother, and then it made me start looking at myself. I mean, I know I'm old enough to be a grandmother, but I didn't want to look like a grandma. I went to a plastic surgeon to see about getting my face corrected. I asked him what he thought I needed to have done, and he said, deep plain facelift is gonna last you about 20 years. And I thought, well, that's great. That way I can just age out with Paul now. <laughs> After surgery, I did get a real big hematoma on the left side behind my ear and my neck. It took several weeks for even that to go down because it was so large. A week after surgery, I could already feel that things were pulling loose under my chin. And then as time went on, it just kept falling more and more. And then you could actually see that I had the cobra neck. My daughter said, Mom, it looks like your neck is falling down. I went back to see him, my doctor. He goes, I didn't do the full facelift cut. And he just said, well, I just felt like I didn't need to. I thought he would have been more sympathetic towards me, but I guess he just didn't want to admit that he was wrong.